Hey guys, what's up? It is Ariel, if you don't know me or haven't seen me before, it's nice to see you. Today we are going to talk about a little subject that has been getting a bit of heat, I feel like. Something I definitely enjoy talking about and feel strongly about. A couple weeks ago I made a video kind of ranking aesthetics that was more of a playful take on aesthetics and the idea of different aesthetics, but today I wanted to kind of do a more serious take on the subject and just explain why I kind of hate them and I think it's stupid and honestly abolish aesthetics in 2021 i'm done with it i'm kind of over it i will tell you why i will give you my reasons also i just watched a wonderful video kind of about the same topic by jordan Teresa. she makes a lot of commentary videos i think it was super interesting to hear her talk about this topic so definitely check it out if you're interested i will link it down below let's just get into it full disclosure I know I totally buy into the idea of aesthetics. It's not hard to tell. My outfit is literally textbook Pinterest or whatever. Like, I know it's extremely meta and hypocritical, but I don't know. I think I can enjoy aspects of it while also hating it. Maybe I'm wrong, but all that to say, I'm not trying to like put anyone down or anything. I'm just trying to like voice the flaws that I kind of see with the whole principle of aesthetics and you know just my gripe with it so first if we're going to talk about it we should probably define what exactly aesthetics mean and i think that this word has definitely been taken out of context and to me it has completely lost its meaning when i hear aesthetics it's just crickets in my brain it's like if you say a word over and over again it's going to lose meaning i think that that has happened to aesthetics and now it's just this big meaningless word but aesthetic defined by the dictionary i don't know if this is word for word but regarding to or concerning beauty which off the bat i think is kind of weird in the context that it's being used as now because aesthetics is kind of just used as another word for like a style category i guess is the best way i could describe it but I think that style is such a broad thing. Everyone has different style. That's what makes style good, in my opinion. So using a word that is regarding this accepted standard of beauty, I think it kind of limits people in regards to self-expression. Just in general, it makes a more narrow window of what is considered beauty, and it kind of forces you to conform to that standard that was set. It's saying this is a beauty standard, this is how it looks, and you can fit into it if you want to. It kind of limits your spectrum in regards to how you personally choose to express yourself and present yourself and then what is regarded as beautiful or fitting in with this aesthetic. And I'm gonna just give you my main points on why I think aesthetics are stupid and we should do away with them. For the first one, I think I kind of already touched on it, but I just think it's extremely derivative and extremely just limiting. I very much feel that there is kind of an unspoken standard saying this is this aesthetic, this is what they wear, this is how they present themselves, this is often like how they look or what they listen to in regards to music or even entertainment. It kind of sets like almost a rule book like these are the rules of Y2K aesthetic, these are the rules of indie aesthetic or whatever it is and in that way it kind of limits what people can explore and choose to express themselves as in a way and within these aesthetics i think that it's not really much different than trends that arise in like fast fashion where something becomes really popular and um it's what everyone is wearing and then it slowly just dissolves away and is replaced by another trend and I think that aesthetics are no different from that. Within each aesthetic group, a lot of different trends arise and everyone is basically copying that for the time being till the aesthetic shifts or factors within that aesthetic shift. An example of this, I think, is the Argyle sweater trend. I think that this is probably its last season of being like trendy or whatever. And slowly it will shift out of style and something else will take its place within that aesthetic or fashion niche and that will be what's 
followed and what's regarded as cool or beautiful in terms of the literal meaning of aesthetic. I think that it's very limiting in just self-expression. It's kind of derivative in a way, like after a while seeing everyone look the same is tiring and annoying. Like I think that these trends wouldn't have first arisen if somebody didn't institute them in the first place, but by everyone following the same trends that have already been set, I don't know just don't don't love it i think there's very much an unspoken idea that these things make you this aesthetic these things do not and i think it's a way of just putting people in boxes honestly like why label it you know why not just be into what you're into one of the things i find the most annoying is that like i'll be on tiktok unfortunately or pinterest and i'll see comments like what is this aesthetic called like, what does that mean? Like, literally just wear what you want. It's just people copying each other and trying to fit into this standard of cool or beautiful or accepted rather than kind of liking what you like, you know, and like choosing for yourself. So yeah, that was, that's my first gripe. My second reason why I hate aesthetics is that it is extremely exclusive. I feel like it thrives off of the fact that it's exclusive and that people are constantly trying to get into this thing that is regarded as exclusive that's what makes people gravitate towards it the fact that it is exclusive if you go on pinterest or instagram or wherever looking for an aesthetic whether it's like y2k aesthetic e-girl aesthetic dark academia any aesthetic really the standard for said aesthetic is usually white, skinny, conventionally attractive, cisgendered oftentimes, and in that way it's very limiting to people who don't fall into those categories. There's very little representation of people who don't fall into those categories but still want to be a part of this aesthetic or kind of fall into this niche of fashion. It's hard to find people who don't look like the conventionally attractive, Eurocentric standard that has been set. For me personally, as someone who I think, I guess would fit into the Y2K aesthetic or um, whatever aesthetic, I don't know, but I use Pinterest and I think personally it's so hard to find other black women or women of color or women with different body shapes um, and body types that are being represented and you know boosted within kind of these circles of people with different aesthetics that is like on Pinterest, on Instagram. And I think that for the outliers of women of color and of plus size women that are being represented or happen to have more of a platform in these different aesthetics, it's still very selective. Like it's not just any black girl or any woman of color. It's usually someone who still somewhat falls into the acceptable standard of beauty, whether it's they're thin or they have Eurocentric features, they have lighter skin, they have a looser hair texture, they have a weight distribution that's considered beautiful or socially acceptable in some way. It's people who are still more generally palatable to the wider acceptable audience of white women, skinny women, you know. Do exceptions to this exist? Like, are there outliers of this that are absolutely trailblazing within their aesthetic and being the representation? Definitely, but is it rare? Yes. Being on YouTube now and kind of making fashion related content somewhat, I don't even know what I'm on here doing, but the fact that I have lighter skin somewhat and I am thin definitely does give me privilege within this sphere of kind of just aesthetics and fashion related content and 
whatever. So just addressing my privilege. I'm grateful that I do have the platform I have. Not that it's huge, but like it's just something to consider, you know? And I'm glad that I could still like shine light on this discrepancy that is so prevalent. So yeah, that is my second bone to pick with aesthetics. I think that it's just exclusive and selective and has such a narrow standard of beauty or acceptability that literally just doesn't leave room for people to be different and people are different so why are we all trying to follow this aesthetic and you know like be the same that sounded really fake deep but like seriously and my next point is kind of just the emphasis that is placed on the term aesthetic and what makes one aesthetic trendy or even considered to be an aesthetic and what makes something else not as trendy or just not as socially acceptable. I think that right now in terms of fashion and just like popular culture, the Y2K aesthetic is very prevalent and coming back, the cottagecore aesthetic is also pretty prevalent. Similar aesthetics within that strain have been gaining popularity, but there are also other aesthetics that aren't really taken seriously for some reason. The biggest example I could think of of this is the hot cheeto girl aesthetic which literally just pisses me off for so many reasons and i could make a whole other video about that but i think that a style commonly adapted by black women hispanic women sometimes has now been kind of written off or like memed on as like being the hot cheeto aesthetic but like why is black women and women of color enjoying things that they like such as fashion choices like laying their edges or wearing lip gloss or whatever it is um dressing a certain way posing a certain way for pictures like why is that written off as being laughable why is it okay to make fun of that but the y2k aesthetic or the cottage course aesthetic is acceptable you know i feel like the major difference is that the one is being mainly represented by white women, women who fall into the beauty standard um, that is extremely Eurocentric, and one is black women and minority women. Like that speaks volumes to me. It's just adopted as a whole that this aesthetic makes you better or this aesthetic is better and socially acceptable and this isn't. I think that's stupid and like just another way to exclude and this goes along with the fact that a lot of y2k aesthetic has been from black women when i searched on pinterest y2k aesthetic i saw all white girls the few black women or black people that i did see were from the actual y2k period in the 90s 2000s um such as Destiny's Child, Aaliyah, to name a few, but it's their fashion influence that they created, which honestly could be analogous to today's Hot Cheeto Girl that has now been adopted after some time by white people and white people have been raised on this platform to spearhead what these black women created back in the day. That doesn't sit well with me only for people to turn around and make fun of black women that choose to express themselves and present themselves in the way that they do now. I don't know, very interesting. Definitely very interesting. And lastly, which might be my biggest peeve in the whole niche of aesthetic, is that there's just this like weird hierarchy and competition that is completely unspoken about aesthetics and what makes you this aesthetic and kind of just like acceptability within the aesthetics. I feel like there's kind of a competition going on, like who can be the most Y2K? Who can do Y2K right? Oh, this isn't Y2K. This is Y2K. This isn't cottagecore. This is cottagecore. Like, okay. It's like a hierarchy to see who can be the most aesthetic or the blueprint. Like, literally just express yourself how you want to, maybe. Like, literally just be original, wear what you want, maybe, perhaps. And I think that it's very much like a social media thing. As 
these trends are you know it was birthed on the internet it thrives on the internet i feel like you don't often go out into the real world and see someone and be like oh she's so y2k aesthetic or like oh she's so cottage core like that's just not really how the real world is these aesthetics exist predominantly within an online space and in that way it's so easily fueled by like the numbers game the clout game the internet validation game and it kind of just creates an air of competition in a way like i've seen so much hate towards people who are within a certain aesthetic i know on twitter like there's been so much discourse about girls think that this is y2k aesthetic no this is y2k aesthetic you guys aren't doing it like can people wear what they like maybe perhaps and I think it's very much just people hating on other people based on the boxes that they choose to label themselves with and put themselves in. But like, imagine if you didn't label yourself and didn't put yourself in a box and didn't try to conform to some given aesthetic or fashion style that someone else created and just chose to wear what you like and enjoy what you like for yourself. And I think that even in the real world, like it does definitely transfer over. Personally, I used to be really into streetwear and skatewear and that kind of scene, that kind of aesthetic, I guess. It wasn't really recalled that necessarily, but when I was very into it, I think that even still, it, it was kind of competitive in the real world in terms of like, if I'd go to school wearing a hyped streetwear piece or whatever, that sounded really cringe saying it. I would see people who I know are also kind of of the same aesthetic usually at least in my case at my predominantly white school that was white straight men it was kind of just a way to see like who can outdo the other one who could have the most hyped piece who could kind of flex the hardest which is kind of more streetwear and hype piece culture but regardless essentially it was kind of a competition like who could execute it the best, who could wear the most coveted rare piece or whatever it was. I think generally within these aesthetics, people aren't very friendly. I think it's more so regarded as like, who can outdo one another rather than like, you look great in this aesthetic, I look great in this aesthetic. Like we have this common interest, like let's join forces. It's more like let's battle to see who will win, which is like why. And maybe this isn't universal to everyone. Maybe you have like a more of a community around your aesthetic or something, but I don't know. There's like this weird tension and like hierarchy competition of people who are aesthetic. And maybe I'm the only one to experience this, but let me know about your experiences in the comments. Cause I'd definitely be very interested in hearing about it and to see if other people have had the same experiences with me or maybe I am just like the outlier and have unfortunately had a bad experience but you have like gained a ton from it so you know let me know those are pretty much all the points I wanted to discuss in this video could I go on I definitely could but this I have a feeling this video is already really long so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed hearing my take I'm definitely interested to hear your take uh, like, comment, subscribe, do what you might, do what you may. If you take nothing from this, just take away the fact that you don't need to fit into an aesthetic or dress a certain way to have style or be cool or... You, I don't know, you just don't have to. Be yourself, wear what you like, do what you want. And yeah, stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Laters. Thank you.